Hello everyone, my moving is finished now. I can start to build my world on 2.4. I will start with the 3D printed parts. Parts uh, I will try to make them ready to be assembled. First, I like in that way. And second reason of that, I will go with that. I will go through the whole manual. So what I would recommend to you, go through the whole manual before you starting the building process. It will help you a lot while do, you are building. So. Uh, in couple places we need to insert hex nut to plastic parts so i will insert them and if they are dropping easily i will glue them on them. so they will not be messing around with me so in that case it's actually not dropping that much easily so it's okay another thing is a couple 3d printed parts needs to be screwed together like that for example this is the Z, yeah. For example, you will see there's a gap between two parts. So I will try to reduce this gap by flying them where the only the parts are touching each other. So in this part, this part and this part. And with that I will try to reduce the gap between these two parts. And another thing is we need to insert threaded inserts to couple plastic parts. So this is the recommended part from the sourcing guide so it needs to be has a diagonal tooth tooth so use this type of uh, threaded inserts so it will uh, it will hold the plastic it will has more rigidity uh, than the vertical ones so uh, and about that so I'm using my soldering iron and, and I have uh, this this conic shape, uh, what do you call, tip and I'm, I was not using that, I just fly them a bit so with that, now it's not passing the threaded insert as you can see so, so if, it, if, if it was passing, if, it, if I use like, if it's passing and I'm, I will use that tip so it will touch the plastic printed parts and melt it directly so we don't want that we just want to heat the threaded inserts and melt the plastic with the heated inserts so it will place itself by, its, by itself so please be careful about that and let's try and another thing is uh, I'm using my soldering iron at 220 degree because I printed those parts at 240 so a little bit less than it so let's try I think will be okay so for example I think we need to place in here so yeah I will just put it my insert you know there is a there is a tooted part and the flat part flat part will sit on the plastic so with that it will sit yeah then I will take my soldering tip and just hit the threaded insert it will uh, sit in place and a little bit push yeah it's going there yep yep gently gently and boom finished let's see the results yeah it seems fine yeah seems fine huh? yeah now i will do the this whole process for all the 3D printed parts. So it will take a couple frames for you, but I don't know how much time it will take for me. So see you in a bit.
sensors. These diagonal lines are uh, the degrees are different than each other. Huh? So what I'm doing here, I'm placing the threaded insert like this. And for the first part, this part, uh, while I'm hitting it and gently pressing it, I'm uh, turning the soldering soldering iron in the clockwise till here. When it came to second part, I'm doing the same thing for the opposite way. So in that way, it's like a, it's like with the heat, it's like uh, treating the plastic part. So it's a little bit easier than. I think it's uh, since it is threading the plastic part, it will be, it may has uh, more rigidity. I don't know, but at least it is easier. So, so I'm placing it on the first for the first threaded part. I'm a little bit hitting it, and after that, gently pressing it and turning in the clockwise a little bit. Then once it came to second part. I am doing the same thing for the opposite direction. And I prepared all the 3D printed parts and stacked them and sorted them. These are the uh, game tray and the Z motor parts, mostly functional parts. These are the skirts and exhaust filters and uh, electronic mounting pieces, etc. These are the hot end parts and these are the little pieces so uh, I can find them easily while I'm building the printer. So I'm planning to build the frames in the next one. Uh, so see you in the next one.